All right, so I know some of you are wondering um, why I didn't upload last night. Uh, reason being is that personal life got in the way, and I was just really not in a good mood to make a video, so yeah. Anyways, I got a pretty good OU battle hat against my hoe, uh, Javon, or as some of you might know him, Gay uh, J Smooth 101 off of YouTube, or hey, you might even know him by his street corner name, Dark Chocolate Smooth, because you know, I'm his pimp. This homie needs to give me my money. Anyways, Javon beat me in our previous battle, so you know, I had to get some revenge, and he wanted to OU battle, and I was like, sure, why not, and me and him don't tend to OU battle a lot, but this actually turned out to be a really good battle that I definitely hope you guys will enjoy, and I am using Thunder and Blunder's team, so his channel link is going to be down in the description, make sure to go check him out. Uh, looking at threats on his side of the field, uh, Mamoswine seemed to be the only problem, especially if I lose my Jellicent, so I really have to watch out for that, but he's going to be leading off with the Landorus, as I'm going to be leading off with my Glide score right off the bat, I'm going to go for the Protect, just to see what he wants to go for, and scout it to see if he does have the Hidden Power Ice, but he ends up going for the U-turn, as he does go for it, I was actually really, really terrified about the fact that he could go for the Hidden Power Ice, but I decided to chance it and stay in, as he does just go straight for the U-turn, I don't see any Life Orb damage, so I'm thinking maybe he's choice in some way then again he could also be extra belted but either way I still have to try to find out what kind of set his Landorus is and as he turns out to the Gastrodon I managed to hit my Toxic which is really good because Gastrodon is definitely going to be a nuisance to take down but now the fact that I Toxic it it shouldn't be as big of a problem as it would have been and I'm going to switch it to my Tyranitar luckily Javon doesn't see this coming and doesn't double down to Scizor or Mamoswine and knowing that I can take any hit from this Gastrodon I'm going to get up my Stealth Rocks and with him having no type of Rapid Spinner my hazards are here to stay <laughs> So he's gonna bring in the Landorus. Obviously, I don't want to take an Earth Power or an Earthquake, so I decided to switch directly into my Jellicent, which should be able to take any two moves relatively well. But he just makes the safe play and goes for the U-turn. And again, I don't know if he's expert belted or if he's choice in any sort of way. So I have to uh, still find out what kind of set it is. As he U-turns out into the Gastrodon, I know he more than likely is gonna want to go for the Toxic, but luckily I do have the Taunt, and Jellicent is naturally faster than Gastrodon because I believe Gastrodon has like a base 30 or. 40 speed something along those lines and he did try to go for the toxic as I'm just gonna say and I actually thought that he would want to switch into the uh, scissor or the mammoth swine to take any hit that I wanted to go for but he actually stays in and just goes for the earth power and I just gave him a free plus one in his special attack luckily though Jellicent is a bulky ass Pokemon and I take the earth power like it's nothing and I'm freely going to be able to go for the recover as I guess he predicted me to possibly want to switch out I'm not too sure and this turn, knowing that he more than likely is going to want to go for a Recover or a Toxic because his Taunt did wear off, I decided to switch directly into my Fortress as he just ends up going for the Toxic. And here, thinking that he would go for the Recover, I'm just going to go for a Lair Spikes, but he actually makes a very good play. Knowing that my Fortress would just be able to set up Hazards all over this Gastrodon, he's actually going to go straight for the Earth Power, which as you see there, depending on Min Max, might actually be a 2 a KO. But with the toxic damage really racking up on this Gastrodon, this turn he is going to end up dying off to the toxic, which is really good because Gastrodon, one giant nuisance is out of the way, which means my Jellicent is going to have an even easier time just dealing with his team because nothing on his team seems to be carrying a status move, which is going to be really good for my Jellicent. So he's going to bring in the Landorus, and knowing that I should be able to take any move from this thing, I'm actually going to stay in, but it turns out that he has Hidden Power Fire now. It is very uncommon, then again it's Javon, so I really shouldn't be surprised that he has Hidden Power Fire on Landorus, although that really did catch me off guard. Um, anyways, I bring in my Jellicent, and he's going to switch directly into his Tyranitar, and originally I had Will-O-Wisp on my Jellicent, but I was like, oh no, I'll just burn him with Scald, right? And no, because if I had Will-O-Wisp here, I would be able to burn this Tyranitar and freely switch out, but I am deathly fearing the fact that he could go for the Pursuit, so I'm going to stand and go for the Scald, hoping that he would go for the Stealth Rocks, but no, Javon makes a very good play, goes for the Crunch, and gets off a heavy heavy hit on my Jellicent, not to mention that now he got the defense drop as well, which means if he does want to go for the pursuit, then my Jellicent is basically dead. So it would be really, really pointless to me to go for the recover right here. So I decided just to go straight for the Scald, as luckily for me, he just goes for another crunch as opposed to getting up with Stealth Rocks, which has me thinking maybe he has rocks on Mammal Swine. So I have to keep that in mind as 
I'm gonna bring in my glass score with his tower Minotaur being at such low HP. I know he's just gonna want to leave it in for death fodder, and I don't have substitute on this glass score. Uh, then again, even if I did have sub, I wouldn't go for it because I don't want to risk him possibly carrying stealth rocks. But he's gonna bring in the mammoth swine in here. If he did have rocks on his mammoth swine, this would have been his perfect chance to go for them because obviously I don't want to take an ice shard, icicle spear, or icicle crash as I switch directly into my Tyranitar basically as death fodder because at this point with Tyranitar getting up rocks, I don't really need it anymore so I'm just gonna leave it in for fodder as he goes for the superpower then again even if he went for earthquake I still would have just brought in my Sableye so it really didn't matter what move he went for I was just foddering off my Tyranitar and because nothing on his team appreciates a will o burn I'm gonna go straight for it as he makes a very very weird switch into the glide score I don't really know why I guess this is the least helpful thing on his team which once you really look at it it is so I guess it wasn't too weird that he brought in his glide score but after I burn it I'm gonna go for the taunt as he protects the following turn I'm gonna go for the taunt again luckily he didn't switch out to the sizzle or the mammoth swine predicting that because I was actually very close to going for the will -O but Javon did just go for the safe toxic as I went for the taunt I can now stay in just go for the nightshade and possibly take him out but not wanting to take any more unnecessary damage I decided to switch directly into my glass score and even if he had the ice fang it really wouldn't have done much to my glass score just because he is burnt and with him carrying toxic I know he's not carrying ice shard I mean ice fang sorry but then again there's a chance that he could be carrying it but either way as he brings in the mammoth swine glass score unfortunately is the least helpful thing to me on my team at this point so I'm gonna leave it in for death fodder as he gets three hits with the icicle spear if he if he had only got two hits I I would have been able to knock him out with the earthquake unfortunately though that isn't the case as i bring in my sable eye i'm just gonna go straight through the um will o -Wisp because i want to be able to recover up and get rid of the damage that he is doing to my sable eye unfortunately though i missed the will o -Wisp, but then again ice shard shouldn't bring me down to a point where it will knock me out which means i should be able to just freely go for the recover and with him having only two turns of life orb i should still be at a good amount of hp after I recover up twice, a bomb the fact that he goes for two straight ice shards. And this turn right here was actually very, very intense because something in the back of my mind was telling me that he was going to go for the Icicle Spear. Thankfully though, Javon just makes the safe play, goes for the ice shard, and I'm going to be able to get the recover up or get the recover off and be at a very good amount of HP. And at this point, the only thing that he can bring in that he has left is going to be the Scizor. And here, I prayed the base god, whoop whoop swag swag, because I need to live the bullet punch and I need to be able to hit my will o -Wisp if I do want to win this battle. So as he goes for the bullet punch, I live and I'm gonna be able to hit the will o -Wisp. So thank you base god. And now my chances of winning have just skyrocketed and now it looks like it is going to be my battle. Although, with Landorus being at a very high amount of HP still, I did run a quick damage calc and because I am a bulky Latios, Latios sorry, as opposed to a offensive Latios, I need to get up two Calm Minds which means I have to hope for him not to crit me with the bullet punch because burn is nullified by crits if I'm not mistaken so it'll be like he's not even burned if he does get the crit on me. So I'm just going to stay and get up two Calm Minds and at this point because I am running on low HP I need to go for the recover because I need to be at about 50% or more HP to live a U-turn or a possible Stone Edge if I'm not mistaken. So I'm just going to keep going for the recover because honestly I lose nothing in recovering just because Scizor is burned he will either die off to the burn or I will finish him off myself with the uh, Hidden Power Fire or Dragon Pulse. But I decided to go for one more recover, sorry, r r I was about to say Roost. <laughs> but I go for one more recover as he brings in his Landorus. Here if he crits me, he wins. So he doesn't crit me, I live the U-turn and I'm gonna be able to knock him out with the Dragon Pulse for the very, very narrow 2-0 victory in my favor. So yeah, that was definitely an intense, fun game that I hope all of y'all enjoyed. Make sure to go check out my Ho Javon. His channel link is going to be down in the description. With that, guys, um, you know what to do. Leave a like, leave a comment, do what you want, do what you please. Enjoy the rest of your night, enjoy the rest of your day, and I am out of here. Later.